What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, uh, we're gonna be working a little bit on the E90 M3 and uh, a little bit to do with the garage as well. I just wanna put it out there before we actually get into the video that I disclosed pretty much all the damages on the E90 M3 in the end of this video, so it's not in the beginning, I pretty much just did a little bit of unwrapping in the next clip here, uh, but all the damages are in the end in a little cinematic, so you guys will see that. It doesn't look that bad from a distance, but uh, when you get up close to personal, it needs a lot of respray, unfortunately, but you guys are about to find out but anyways, let's go ahead and get back into the video and let the restoration begin. I really wanted to get it right Trying to find some balance in my life I never really put up a fight And now I'm lost in sleep What if I lost touch? What if I'll never get it right? I try to follow my heart But I lost it somehow Listen to me as I say Listen to me as I Slow it down Dream still yours if you want it Change the line Cause those ups and those downs Is what makes it worth it Slow it down And guys, this is the next day I'm actually in the truck right now um, Trying to get some things for the future build So as you guys know, we are working on the E90 M3 We're unwrapping, we did find some hidden damage Now I did also find some damage with the roof And I want to get that stuff fixed ASAP Now obviously, we should probably try to figure out If the engine's any good, but worst comes to worst I'm going to swap that engine because We got some good news boys, and uh, we got the car registered So the fact that we got it under our name And it's registerable in California Because it was an out of state title, that was my biggest worry um, Means that even worst comes to worst We'll still be making money if we have to buy another engine um, But I mean it'd be pretty amazing if we could fix the current one who knows who knows in the meantime We do have a bunch of stuff that we actually put on that car to restore it And who doesn't enjoy seeing worn out parts get replaced with brand new stuff especially interior upgrades So we will get to that in a little bit I am heading down to Erlon's place right now because we have to pick up two engines an N55 um, From an engine swap that we did before um, that one is a blown engine I'm probably gonna try to sell for like uh, I don't know like $300 um, so I'm gonna go pick it up because people actually use the upper end it has a seized rod knock but we can still make some money we're all about making money here because at the end of the day you guys know that we're trying to get the r-rate dream so every penny count also my boy Erlan is just just selling an engine super cheap he's selling an n54 for dirt cheap and i just couldn't pass on it so i don't really have an n54 car i don't know if i'm gonna buy an engine you know blown n54 car down the road we could buy this n54 and build it i mean it's a perfectly good n54 in a little bit of high it's in the high mileage side but it's a good n54 so i was like you know what I'm gonna cop it um, and just you know put it in my garage or anything and if you know if we need it We need it if we don't I'll just sell it and then I'm gonna be picking up a few other things that we need for our build So without further ado, let's head down to our lines pick up all this stuff and then get back and keep working on the E90 M3 I'm just I, guys I'm so blessed to be able to say that I'm working on an E91 M3 project and an E90 M3 project both manuals Oh man, just just such amazing cars guys And guys, we are officially back. We have the N54 that is almost pretty much complete other than the injectors. We have the turbos, we have the compressor, we have the high pressure fuel pump. This is pretty much a complete N54 in good working condition with all the gaskets replaced because my boy used to own this engine. Um, this is a blown N55 engine. Um, it does have uh, fuel injectors inside of it, which we're gonna be parting out. I'm probably gonna part out uh, this valve cover as well because it's a good valve cover. This is a replaced high pressure fuel pump, mainly because the car that I got the N55 in came with a used high pressure fuel pump in the trunk, so I'm pretty sure that is a new high pressure fuel pump reason I have so many builds going on the reason I'm not really showing you guys all this stuff is because I have honestly so much things going on and I'm trying I'm gonna time scratch guys we have less than like two months or two or technically three months until the end of this year and the goal is to get an Audi R8 and I'm not gonna lie I'm spending a lot of money on this E91 M3 project and that's not money I'm getting back because I don't plan on selling that car so trying to make ends meet I'm not selling the E91 M3 to get the R8 I really want to keep the E91 M3 I want to make it an insane build I want to take it to events I want to supercharge it as you guys know that's why we picked up this E90 M3, but we're also trying to accomplish the dream by after building the E91 M3 is by copying an Audi R8 V10 on this YouTube channel. What could be a Gen 1, could be a Gen 2. We'll see. I'm leaning more towards a Gen 2. If you guys are respecting the grind, make sure to smash the like button because uh, yeah, your boy's literally flipping things, working on multiple cars, and uh, obviously I, you guys can see what I'm doing on the channel. Big stuff, flipping engines. Man, I've come, man, I this year 
has been definitely a lot tougher than last year, but leaving your comfort zone helps you achieve new things in life. And hopefully, hopefully, um, I'll be preaching that by the end of this year. Anyways, anyways, let's go ahead, unload these two engines, clean up this garage, make some space, and then get back to working on the E90 M3. <laughs> And just like that, guys, we have the garage fully cleaned up. Honestly, it is such a relief. Every single time I go into this garage and I see an absolute mess knowing that I also have three to four, technically five projects with the 550, it's just really, really, really just like, it, it get, you don't even wanna start your day when everything's super messy. When you do your bed in the morning, you know you accomplished something. So when I now clean the garage, I just feel a lot better. Now we also got the fire extinguisher. I've always been meaning to get a fire extinguisher. This is kind of a tiny one, but the main reason I got a little tiny one is because it's not only just for me, if anything happens inside the house, my wife needs a fire extinguisher. It's gonna be right around the corner. The kitchen's right over here. So yeah, I finally got a fire extinguisher. I actually ended up getting a couple other fire extinguishers because again, safety's first. I got some fire extinguishers for the cars in carbon fiber from Keys Motorsports. I'm gonna be installing those bad boys pretty dang soon. But again, like I said, we have so much projects and those are for the Super and it actually, one of them is for the Super, one is for the E91. But again, so much projects, so much things to do. Um, such little time. Like you only have so much time in a day. So now that this is all cleaned up and I feel so, so, so good. Uh, let's go ahead and actually finally do the tail lights. This little section right over here, I made it dedicated for the E90 uh, M3. This step, this section right here is just a bunch of modifications for a bunch of different builds. This section right over here is 550, um, and that's just eBay stuff. Up there is just a bunch of carbon um, and also some 328 stuff that I need to install as well. Uh, but again, this section right over here, what we have is a stock radio that we got from our E90 M3, the donor one, um, and this is also the climate control switches that go with this. Um, so this is actually both up on eBay. I'm going to take them down off eBay and install into that and remove the aftermarket double din radio. Um, that is preferably considered like an upgrade to most people. And honestly, having a touchscreen Android may not be the worst thing in the world, but for me, as a single hub car, manual transmission with the Alpine, I keep saying Alpina, Alpine white paint. I want it to be as OEM as possible because this is actually a very, 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 very rare car um, to find, like this particular spec. If it had a carbon roof, it would be the ultimate one. But anyways, what I also have over here is an OEM e brake so I'm gonna be replacing that as well. We're still trying to get an OEM M shift knob and OEM boot. I might actually take it from uh, the E90 donor car as well, but it's in such mid condition, I wanna use it for the E91. But possibly, possibly we will. Um, I also got some M3 plates on here. This is in chrome. I wanna get M3 black ones. I still don't know if I'm gonna use that because we are releasing our own plate. The Save BMW plates is gonna be in gloss black. Chrome is not really my favorite thing in the world, but it is an OEM BMW piece, so I might end up installing that. Over here, shout out to my boy Erlon for selling 
selling me these for stupid cheap. I got both these tail lights um, for only $20. And this right back here is an OEM cooler that we're gonna be replacing with our supercharged cooler. Cause you guys know I'm gonna be taking the full supercharger kit off of that car. It also has an aftermarket cooler and then transfer it over to our E91. So I need to put this thing back to stock. Technically I could go ahead and reuse my stock parts off my E90 donor car and then just go straight supercharged build on the E91. Uh, but as you guys know, I wanna make this E91 M3 a legal E91 M3. I wanna be driving down the road with peace of mind that if I ever get pulled over, they're not gonna go ahead and crush the car because that's a real thing. If you have no proof um, that you purchased the car, purchased paperwork, like have all the documentation and actually get it smog certified, you could be in an ultimate mess and it's just not worth it. At the end of the day, we're gonna do everything by the books and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get OEM parts to replace it. So guys, without further ado, we unwrapped the car, but I think the next thing is, let's go ahead and just get those tail lights replaced. And now that we have a full set, guys, we have left and right. We also have some extra bulbs from the ones that were damaged on my car. Um, so theoretically, um, we should be able to get these two tail lights working absolutely perfectly. And honestly, guys, I'm not a huge fan of pre-LCI, but I'm definitely digging the red with the white more than the white with the white. I really wanted to get it right. Trying to find some balance in my life. I never really put up a fight. And now I'm losing sleep What if I lost touch? What if I'll never get it right? I try to follow my heart But I lost it somehow Wish that someone could say It'll all be okay Just, just listen to me as I say Listen to me as I Just like that guys, the E90 is finally looking like an E90. You guys saw the paint is not in the prettiest shape, but since this is a restoration build, do not worry guys, that stuff is gonna get sorted. If you guys are interested in any of the stuff that I've been taking off my cars, for example, some N55 fuel injectors, some M3 chimp pieces, M4 stuff, literally a bunch of different car stuff, um, including these tail lights. I believe these retail 250. I'm gonna be putting them out for like 125. So again, if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, it's all gonna be up on my eBay store. I sell a bunch of used parts. And honestly, if you guys hit me up saying you're a follower i do work with you guys on the prices as well because i appreciate you guys supporting this channel we have got so much done in this video which i'm so 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 happy about so again if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button if you guys are excited to see some more e91 m3 updates or even some e90 restoration updates make sure to smash that like button without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see y'all on the next one peace out that peace out was a little aggressive i mean like peace out <laughs>